He weighed in at 201 half pounds. Undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 13 wins, no losses. 11 big wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the undefeated, bulletproof, Brandon Glinton. Please welcome the undefeated world rank cruiserweight contender. Introducing the Nigerian pitbull, Efetobo. Sport uh, wisely, he's doing the right oh. things. Oh. He, he throws his combinations. He's actually throwing his hook with uh, with power. That can still happen, but right now the slickster in here is glad. Boy, it looks good. Good hard-hitting cruiserweight action. Brandon Clanton. Oh man, a pleasant surprise here. Answers with. So far, what are you reading from there at ringside? Yeah, I'm saying that uh, Glanton is keeping his hands up nice and is moving forward. He's not really getting hit no solid shots right now. And I like the I like the way uh, Apoche is throwing a lot of punches. You know, this is you know sometimes he, he relaxes too much and. He does when he's against the ropes when glancing gets close to him he's doing a really smart thing by pushing him off the ropes push left hook right. perfect thick guy oh. but he's able to land but a punch is able to land boot beautiful uppercut but a hook countered by glanton just slowing down it's just a small thing but it makes a big difference oh. Oh. Great action in this fight he's out big hook a punch is hurt right hand he's gonna get him a count he's gonna get him a count She has been down. Let's take another look at how it all happened. Big hook and then the right hand. And when you're on the ropes like that and you're being held up by the ropes, that is a knockdown. And that's when the bell rang. So Gary Mizwa jumped in there. But here it is again. There's the hook. Well, let's see if Glenn can close the it show took, right here, bro. Wow. A little less than two minutes left, and Abuchi's on the run right now, and Glenn's hurting him with jabs right now. I'm telling you, he's not doing well, Abuchi, and Glenn's coming on hard. Glenn with the right hand. Drills it. Now he's got him on the ropes. Abuchi has stopped moving now. He shakes his head. He's fine. He fights back. How much does he have? Uppercut by Abuchi, and Glenn takes a step back. His hands up pretty good there. This is a big round for a poachy right now. If he can, can make us, oh, 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 oh. a poachy looks a little bit attack. A poachy's playing possum. Moving in with the uppercut. Still able to move his head. Glant moves in, throwing to the body. Hard right hand to the head. He's the ropes because he's really throwing the right hand to knock Glanston into the ropes so he can move to the rest of the ring. Glenn in, in the deepest that he has got. He's never seen round eight in his career. Apochi has been seven just one day. Oh, Marcos Viegas has Glenn oh. way up on the card. 68-64 with that 10-8 round. Oh. Big right hand by Glenn. Man, still able to move his head. But Apochi's unbelievable. He's taking these shots and he's still got the presence of mind to throw great shots like that right back and move his head. Bring that right hand down a little. Oh, boy. Firing back with oh. three punch combinations. Apoche is catching Glanson coming in as he throws the right hand. They're both trading right hands at the moment. You're going to be a hard press. Glanson now moves his head a bit, but he's able to land with a thudding right hand. Now Apoche oh, is the busier man, hand letting his hands go. Glant moves in again, another right hand. Now he's got Apoche pinned on the ropes. One minute left in this round. Oh, great left hook by Glenn. Brian. Big hook by Glenn. Able to, after throwing his punches, you know, you want to put your hands down because you're tired, but you got to force oh. yourself to keep your hands up. Look at that. I mean, this is, this is a uppercut from a poaching. Beyond the fight of the year right now. I don't know how you're ever going to top this this year. This is a great. I mean, a poachy 
Ali has never taken himself out of this fight. He got two rounds left. And, and I got to tell you, oh, they're, and then Brian Lesson, they may be cruiserweights, but they're. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. What Glenn is doing to that he's jab every so yeah. often is he's countering it with the right hand. Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. There's a hook at the end of the combination. I was just going to say, Joe, there are punches. This is a great punch. Oh, 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 big punch there <laughs> from Glenn. So far, 78, 73. Oh. And the key here, even though they're throwing Marcos, though, again, if you just give a uh, benefit oh. of the doubt, and uh, two or three extra rounds, you can have it wide. Oh, man. And huge hearts. And you know, Glanson said in the fighters' meeting that he's going to be going forward and the poche is going to be going backwards. Oh, I hate this. I... Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Glanton lands a hook. Gets a poche in the corner. Three punch combination from Brandon Glenn. Another combination. But look at a poche. He just brushes poche him moving up. back, but he's firing. Digs into the body oh. on his way back. In this in this fight, nothing can keep uh, sticky right now because it has it's wet. No, there's a way to beat that. So Lennox. much. Yeah, but in the meantime, Glanton landed a nice counter right hand over that jab, and and it made Opochi drop his hands and stop for a second. Here we go. We got uh, right here. Let 15, me tell 15 you. seconds. Let me tell you. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. Oh. if this fight is a draw. Professional fight, it's scored round by round, and one of those rounds is 10-8. There it was, that one right on, right on top, right on top of the head. And yeah, it, it did behind stand the ear. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside Nelson Vasquez scores about 96 to 93 in favor of Efe Tobor Apochi. Yes, yes. Judge of ringside John Mariano scores about 95 94 in favor of Brandon Glanton. And Judge of ringside Mike Fitzgerald sees the action 95 to 94 in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated. Bulletproof Brandon. You hate to see either guy lose. My sense is that the right guy got this decision. Split decision, that close. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.